Hey, what's up everybody? This is Brennan Hauser with Evoke Bike. So I don't love this video topic because I don't want to be disparaging to another brand and I don't want to talk down on their product. However, there is a lot of misinformation out there about ketones, ketone esters, ketone drinks, what these are all doing. And unless you have a ketone meter and are actively measuring what these substances are doing to your body, you can really get yourself in some trouble. Um, and I'm not only talking about the aspect that if you're taking too many ketones, you can actually reduce the ability for your body to use glucose, which would be a problem for endurance sports. But based on some of these studies and from the experience that I had with one of these drinks, there are alcohol type effects. You do not wanna be racing a bike or riding hard and feeling buzz. That is not cool. So I wanna talk as briefly as possible, but as specifically as possible, and I'll put all these notes possibly into a blog post about what is the difference between a ketone ester and another molecule that is being called a ketone drink, which is, I would not advise that you take. So Delta G, which disclaimer, they gave me a bunch of the tactical to try and a discount code so I could buy more of them, is a BHB molecule, binded with an R13-butanediol molecules. So Delta G is an ester, and ester is, as we talked about in the first video, a bond that is formed between those two molecules. The two molecules are going to have a very different effect than just the one molecule, which is in the ketone IQ by HVMN. They are just R13-butanediol. Now, there's another company out there that was on a podcast that I listened to called Ketone Aid, and the gentleman's name, Frank, is the CEO, and he goes into detail, and I'll post a link to the podcast that has a lot of similar information that I'm going to talk about today, but he has a drink that has just the R13 butane dial that is there to get you buzzed. It's an alcohol alternative. And the thing that we need to understand that I was not told while being on a thousand day sobriety challenge that it is not just an alcoholic ketogenic precursor, it's an alcohol. It's not ethyl alcohol like what we have in beer, wine, but it is an alcohol that in studies, uh, subjects were having similar effects of alcohol. And I'll post a link to that study. You can look for, at it for yourself. So when you see R13 butane dial, that is not a ketone ester. This can actually negatively impact your performance and this is why the drink is $10 and not $35. So let's understand that this is not a new compound and I wanna talk about what Delta G did because their CEO with DARPA had tried to use R13 because it's much cheaper to make but they discarded it because subjects were having these drunk intoxicated feelings. Now back in 2003, the University of Oxford and the NIH received a $10 million DARPA grant, but they realized that this compound was really bad at raising ketone levels. The amount that you would have to take, and I took a double dose and I'll tell you my results, would get you drunk. So they discarded it. If this was not the case, Ketone Aid would not have launched hard ketones, which I will post a link to this product where it says this will get you buzzed. So you can listen to the podcast from the guy that created this drink and he's telling you this is not for performance. And then you look over at a company like HVMN that has ketone IQ and they're telling you it's for performance and that is not true. And the studies that they are posting on their website are false. They are posting studies that they were involved in when they used the Delta G ketone ester. And then they stopped buying it from them and got a grant for a ton of money and said, oh crap, we can't, we don't have the product anymore. Let's, they were at a panel that Frank talks about in his podcast and said, oh, you know what? We happen to find this new compound that we're gonna use instead that works just as well and it's cheaper to make. Complete lie, just not true. Now you don't have to just believe me, this information, the feed, they sell both products. They have in an email, if you discuss with them the difference between the two products, what is the difference between Delta G and Ketone IQ? 
Delta G is the original Oxford ketone ester that most athletes have been using and has a large body of research supporting it. We don't want to get too specific, but an ester is a bond of BDO and BHB that effectively increases ketone levels in the blood. While Delta G is more expensive, it has the most research behind it for sports performance and will almost always increase your blood ketones above 2 millimoles of ketones in your blood for performance benefit. Ketone IQ is a new drink from HVMN and it's only the BDO part, essentially one half of what is in Delta G. What's confusing is that HVMN used to market and have the Delta G product in their original ketone product, but now they don't use Delta G and they have this new formula called Ketone IQ, but they are using the old studies. You will not reach two millimoles in your blood from Ketone IQ and you do not want to take this product and you do not want to waste your money. And I feel badly disparaging them, but this is not cool. You cannot do this. So I took two doses and only hit 1.1 millimoles of ketones in my blood. And then I immediately, so I took it, I did the test 20 minutes later, I got the 1.1, I took the third dose, which is the max for the entire day, and only hit 1.7. That is so disappointing. If you take a full bottle, 32 grams of the Delta G, you're gonna be between two and a half to three millimoles in your blood. I've tested it myself multiple times. I even take small doses before I go ride and I take about five grams in the morning just to get a little bump and it's incredible. So there's gonna be new products coming out, but will it really be new? There's other companies attempting to solve this problem of reducing the cost and creating the right molecules. Be very careful with what you buy and use a mojo meter to test your ketone levels. The standard protocol is get a baseline reading. Make sure you take the designated amount of the ketone drinks. So you know what you're taking and write down your values and then test again in 20 minutes and see what's in your blood. This will give you an idea of how high your blood ket or your ketones in your blood spike and then test the curve. You just want to test every 30 minutes and this will tell you how long you stay elevated. You want to be between 1.5 to 3 millimoles. This is what you want for the duration of your training session or event. I don't think it's gonna be feasible to stay elevated for everyone for the whole event, which is why I don't follow the exact Delta G protocol because they say take half a bottle every hour, especially if I was on gravel, opening the bottle, taking half, do you have half, put it back, da da da. I just crush the whole thing and when I start, I wanna take one to start to conserve the glycogen that I have. I wanna take one two hours in because no matter what, if I've been pedaling solidly for two hours, I'm starting to feel a little fatigue and this, your brain is like, whoa, here we go. Okay, let's go. And then you take one at four hours if you're doing a six hour ride and you are just cruising home. And if you saw the video on Instagram, I gave one to Landry and he was like, what is this? This is awesome, I can just keep pedaling. So, Listen to the other podcast. You can check all the academic ketone studies on the Delta G website or on the NIH.gov website. I'll link to the one about R13 with intoxication in the cycling study. And there's another paper that talks about glycogen sparing effects of ketones. We could talk about ketones for days. In listening to this other podcast, I will be testing ketone aid and see how their drink compares. And I'll post as much information and share as much as I can. If you wanna try ketones, let me know. I highly recommend the Delta G product. It is amazing. And you can use the code Brennan for 15% off. And good luck to those that posted the review from the Black Friday sale. Whew! Let's go. Hey guys, Lala wanna say please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 4,000 and please send a video to a friend that could use some help and tell them what we're doing at Evoke, just trying to get faster together. We appreciate your support. Talk to you later.